Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my Thursday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. And today we are going back to our leaf green Nuzlocke that we have been doing. Welcome in everybody. Welcome in Koneko. Welcome in Kendra. Oh my gosh, you guys. I rearranged a little bit, so hence the different camera angle. Um, that is because I was so tired of having the computer tower be behind my monitors. So it was very difficult while I was live. And um, same thing happened when I was doing my, my day job working to reach up there and get a uh, lady down from on top of the computer tower. Because <laughs> as y'all know, this happened on a couple of streams. She will push the power button and all of a sudden, we will not be live anymore. Um, and she was doing that during stream. She was doing that while I was doing my day job working. So I rearranged the, this little computer corner a little bit so that uh, the tower is no longer behind. <laughs> so that if she climbs on top, I can much more easily get her off of the computer. Welcome in, Scrub. Thank you so much. I don't think I've seen you on a Thursday stream before. Welcome, welcome. All right, guys. So as you guys know, we like to start with a little personality quiz. We're actually doing something different today. This is a quiz that, um, there we go, that Kitty sent in. She wants us to do some Pokemon trivia. So we're gonna see how well we know Pokemon. Okay, I don't know what this thing is supposed to be at the top. I guess it's a video that never plays. It's, it's, I pulled this up at the beginning, like before I went live or anything, and like it's just been sitting here doing this for like 10 minutes. I don't, I don't know. So whatever, we're gonna do the trivia. Oh no, no, go away. You're not gonna sit down there in the corner being annoying. All right, so let's see how well I know Pokemon. Do I know Pokemon trivia? We're about to find out. All right, how many original Pokemon were included in generation one? 151, okay, correct. I feel like they could have made this question a little harder by having one of the answers be 150 instead of 151. That would have been like the trick, but um, these are obviously wrong. Okay, correct. Which Pokemon isn't an evolution of Eevee? Oh my gosh, they are throwing me softballs with this quiz. I don't know, I hope it gets harder. So I actually have to think about something. And we have Lumenion, obviously. Leafeon, Glaceon, and Flareon are all evolutions. Lumenion, okay. In 2016, a Wyoming teenager found what while playing Pokemon Go? Okay, I actually don't know the answer to this. Let's see if I can figure it out from the choices they give me. Uh, we've got a new bird species, buried treasure, her missing sister. I don't know, that might be true. A dead body. Oh, no, no. Okay. I think it's a dead body, you guys. I think it's a dead body. What do y'all think? <laughs> Put it in the chat, although probably by the time it sends, by the time you've typed it out, I've already probably chosen because I'm impatient like that. I think it's a dead body. I think it's a dead body. Yes! Dead body. Of course, that would make the news. Okay. Shyla Wiggins was searching for water Pokemon when she found a body floating in the river in Riverton, Wyoming. Oh my god. That is crazy. Okay. Which Pokemon card sold for forty no fifty four thousand nine hundred and seventy dollars at auction in twenty sixteen? Wow, that's a lot for a card. That's a lot for a card. Oh my god. Okay, we've got Rox Onyx, Pikachu Illustrator, Mew, or Articuno. What is Pikachu Illustrator? That's the only one that like sounds different. Maybe it's that Pikachu Illustrator, like that's a rare Pikachu card or something. I did play the card game for a little bit when it first came out, but I was very young and I did not keep up with it and I did not know what I was doing. So I really don't know much about Pokemon cards. Um, so we're gonna go with Pikachu Illustrator because I just, I don't know what that is. And so it sounds interesting to me. I'm so good at taking tests, you guys. This promotional card of Pikachu was given out to winners of an illustration contest in 1998. Okay, didn't know anything about that. All right, Pokemon was accused of promoting which illegal activity in a 1999 lawsuit? Oh no, I don't know that one either. Um, truancy, gambling, animal abuse, or shoplifting? I don't think you can sue someone, some, someone for promoting truancy. I don't think that's a thing, so not that one. I don't think it's shoplifting. That doesn't really make sense for Pokemon. I think it's got to be animal, animal abuse or gambling. Um, but I don't think anyone seriously thinks that like monster catching games amount to any kind of like animal abuse. So we're going to go with gambling. That's right. That's, that's right. 
The families of two boys sued Nintendo in 1999 for allegedly turning their children into gambling addicts. Oh my god, I guess they spent too much time at the Rocket Casino. All right. As of January 2021, how much revenue has the Pokemon franchise earned? It's in the billions. So what are our answers? We've got 32 billion, 795 million, it's not that. 100 billion or 2.4 billion. Oh my gosh. It's one of the biggest franchises ever. I think by I think by revenue it is the biggest franchise ever because it's got so much. It's got movies, it's got video games, it's got merch, it's got everything. So um, I think the 100 billion, that's like too round of a number. So we're going to go with 32 billion. Oh, it is 100 billion. Holy shit. Holy shit, my God. I mean, I knew it was the biggest, but I believe it. Okay, Pokemon's the most financially successful media franchise of all time. I knew that. Just didn't know the number. Okay. The creator of Pokemon was inspired by which hobby? Bug catching. Where's bug catching? Oh, insect collecting. Okay, same thing. Insect collecting. That's the right answer. Yes. Satoshi Tajiri was inspired by his time collecting bugs as a child. That's true. Okay. In the animated series, what is the name of the nurse who runs the Pokemon Center? That is Nurse Joy. Nurse Joy. Yay. Okay. Which of these isn't one of the official Pokemon types? Space. Okay, space is not an official Pokemon type, even though Deoxys is a space Pokemon, and space is a big theme in some of the Pokemon games. So it's space. That's not a type. Yep, Pokemon are categorized into 18 official types, and space is not one of them. Which actor has performed in the animated Pokemon movies and the live-action Detective Pikachu? Oh, I have no clue. Um... Okay, so we've got, these are probably two Japanese people, and these are probably, these are not. I'm, I, I'm going to go with one of the Japanese people. I don't know who any four of these people are. <laughs> I'm just making a guess that um, having one of the Japanese voice actors in Detective Pikachu probably would have been like, that sounds like a thing, you know, that sounds like a thing to me. So we're going to go with Rika, Riku Matsumoto. It is wrong. Well, I was right to think it was one. It was somebody um, Japanese, but I picked the wrong one. Okay. Oh, it's the voice of Pikachu. Okay, okay, okay. Well, that makes sense to me. That makes sense. I didn't know. My logic was sound, though. I just guessed wrong. <laughs> what year did Pokemon Red and Green debut on Game Boy? Oh, freaking Christ! I have no idea. Early 1990s, but I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I just know I was young. Oh no, I was really young. Um, maybe 1994? No, 1996. Yeah, I had no idea. The original Pokemon video game launched in Japan in 1996. I didn't know. I know that it launched in Japan, and then a year later, it launched in the US. Which episode of Pokemon animated series was banned after sending viewers to the hospital? That is Electric Soldier Porygon. So let's find that answer. Electric Soldier Porygon. There we go. All right. Yes, episode 38 of the Pokemon anime featured a scene with flashing lights that triggered epileptic symptoms in some viewers. That's true. Okay, 9 out of 12. All right, is anybody going to, is this quiz not going to tell me like some kind of like, you're awesome for getting 9 out of 12. This is your level of Pokemon knowledge. No? No? I guess not. What does the, what does the link look like when you do that? Oh, it just links the quiz again. Anyway. 9 out of 12. I think that's pretty good, considering that um, I really mostly know about the video games and not much else. I not wasn't ever, like, super into the anime. I mean, I watched, like, the, the Kanto one as a kid, right? But I never kept up with it. And same thing with the card game. I played it during the first edition as a kid, but I never kept up with it past that. So I really don't know much about all that. All right, you guys. It's time. It's time to go back to our Nuzlocke. So let me get that going for us. Oh good, that loaded, okay. Um, let's get the game so that you guys can see it. There we go, there's that. Oh, and you need to see my badges. There we go, okay. We are in business, my friends. I just need to unpause. Okay. Y'all let me know how the sound levels are if the game is too loud, too quiet. It looks right to me, but y'all tell me what it actually sounds like. Okay. So here's the only thing that I really did in between. 
Do, 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 do. Move. Okay, so all I really did was took um, Teeth Fuzz and got him up to level 28. So he's more in line with these, but I didn't level up anything else, y'all. I have been playing so much Legends Ar Arceus still that I just like... <gasps> Oh my god, it's all of my video game time is dedicated to that, so that's what's up. Okay, so last time we went in here and we did the rival battle, but we didn't really do any of the other battles, so what we're, what we're gonna do is come in here and do those. So, oh no, I did want to be in there. There we go. Okay, we're gonna put Badger in front because he's gonna do really good against all the ghosts in here. All right. This is about as far as we got before. We ran around and we caught a ghastly. Oh, I can't run in here. So sad. I guess it's an indoor place, so they're not going to let me run around like a crazy person. So we're going to fight all of these guys. Be gone, malevolent spirit. We're going to fight all of these guys. And Badger's going to kick their booties. Because Badger is awesome. Chandler Patricia sent out ghastly. So I know I didn't do a dice update at the top of the stream for you guys. There is a reason for that. It is because I need to still polish and sand the dice that I made uh, before. That step takes forever and I'm still working on it. Work has been incredibly busy, so I've really not gotten a lot of time to sit and think. Like, my the work that I do is pretty um, creative a lot of times. So typically, I will take time in my workday to like sit and think about what I want to do for certain projects that I'm working on or things like that, you know, just kind of like daydream or whatever. And something like sanding and polishing dice is a great activity to do while I'm doing that because it's very repetitive. So I get some really good thinking time in. But work has been so busy with like all these little tasks that that just hasn't happened. And um, I 100% blame the pandemic because it is 100% the pandemic's fault. So um, what I mean by that, <laughs> what I mean by that is that um, <laughs> there's a ton of different activities and trainings and things that we're doing right now that are coming up this month and next month that literally are just things that like were supposed to happen in 2020 or 2021, but we kept pushing them back and pushing them back and pushing them back. Um, because if you are in any sort of education um, field, the way that I am, then you know, like certain topics you really need to cover in an in-person training. It just doesn't, there's not a good way to get people engaged virtually. So for certain things where that were like really super important to the business that we don't want to mess up the training, like we don't want to waste people's time, like it's a long training or it's an expensive training. We kept pushing it back and pushing it back and pushing it back. Well, now things are actually finally starting to get better like i don't know if y'all saw some of the newest guidelines but there's a lot less um recommendations in regards to masks now so we're finally doing those trainings that we've been pushing back for like two years so i've just gotten like ridiculously busy with like administrative tasks and organizing tasks and just various things that i um that uh that normally would have been spread out and now i have to do it like all at once for multiple things so hence uh the dice have not gotten sanded and so that's why there's no dice update. And what I've um, been spending a lot of my free time also on is playing Pokemon Legends. So, <laughs> yeah, no, the two kind of places where I normally would be working on dice um, have been taken up by other things. Welcome in, Kitty. Welcome in. You are not late. You are not late. You um, you have made it. We just started. You did, unfortunately, miss your quiz. Um, uh, but I can tell you if what I got, if you want, and link it to you, Back to you so that you can see what score um, you get or if you want me to keep it a secret until you watch the VOD that's fine too <laughs> yeah <laughs> I uh, I love when I can fall asleep in the middle of the day that's a dream you know that's a dream I would nap during the day all the time if it weren't for having a nine to five you know what I'm saying I can watch it when it comes out and then it'll be like I was here okay sounds good I won't spoil it for you then did I fight this one yes I fight it this one okay I fighted this one, guys. I'm good at the English. English is my first language. And I speak it real good. <laughs> yeah, but thank you for linking me that, Kitty. Um, you guys are welcome, of course, to send me anything like that um, for the recommending a quiz. They don't have to be, like, 
the you quiz personality quizzes. That's just what I tend to pick out. If you've got other quizzes, so long as they wouldn't take like a huge amount of time to complete, they're fine. Cause I like to keep the quiz segment like between five and 10 minutes. I'll go up to 15 minutes if like I find one that I that I think is good topic that um, that's particularly long. Like I always look at the number of questions on the you quiz and some of them are crazy long. So, um, but uh, I'll do up to 15 minutes, but longer than that, uh, probably, probably not. It probably wouldn't fit. I have to leave in a few minutes for a late night meeting. What? Kitty, who puts meetings, who puts meetings at this? Because you're in Eastern time too. Who puts meetings after 7 p.m.? That is ridiculous. The latest you should be able to schedule anything that's a meeting is 6.30. That's crazy. Who wants to do a 7 p.m. meeting? Stupid. I hope it's like something really important for your kids or something like that, that you're sacrificing your evening. A therapist? Oh, okay. Well, I mean, if he's a good therapist, that's cool. But like, yeah, man, I would not go to a therapy appointment at seven o'clock at night. <laughs> I hope the appointment goes well um, and that you, you know, talk about the things you want to talk about and do the things you want to do and all that fun stuff. Um, and I'm so sorry that your therapist had made an appointment for 7 freaking p.m. That is ridiculous. I don't know. I don't know if I could vibe with a, with a doctor that was willing to work that late. I hope you beat up all the Pokemons that start something. Don't worry, Kitty. We are, we are going through the, um, this right here, the Lavender Town tower thingy whatever it's called the name escapes me at the moment but anyway basically badger's going to destroy all the ghastlies um and then after that we're going to take on the next couple of routes towards fuchsia city but um i'm not exactly sure how we're going to do the next few gyms just because it's you know it's a little different oh i can rest here oh thank you yay um because like the Koga's and Sabrina's gym is like the same level, but there's also other things that are like lower level, like there's the dojo, um, the fighting dojo, which would give me a level cap of 37 if I don't want to over level that. And then there's also going through Sylphco, <laughs> so, um, which would be a level cap of 41, I think. So, um, I think I want to go in the order of the level caps, but I'm not fully decided. But I know we're going to tackle the next couple of routes, 16, 17, and 18. So we're definitely going to catch some Pokemon. Um, we do have enough names in the queue, I think, for tonight. But if y'all want to send in a few more, go for it. Um, I do have that thing on, that particular one on, if you want to do that. Holy cart, my internet has been throwing a fit. Koneko, is it healed now? Is your internet okay? Zombies! Okay. I think they're ghosts, but whatever you say, Channeler Karina. Yeah, that's a ghost, Karina. It's not a zombie. Unless you're calling me a zombie, which I'm definitely not. Not a zombie here. I just got a notification from Uber, of all things, that it's about um, donations that they're doing to help Ukrainian refu refugees, so that's nice of Uber, I suppose. I didn't really need a notification, though. Yeah, that would be super weird seeing zombie Pokemon. I guess it would be kind of like, um, you know, the in the, what's in the Colosseum games? I think it's in the Colosseum games, where they get, like, the darkness, um, and you have to, like, purify them. You have to purify them in, in Go as well. I feel like it would be, that's like the closest thing that Pokemon does to like a, a zombie sort of thing. Yeah, the Pokedex is super horror, if you actually like read what the Pokedex says. Isn't Parasect a zombie Pokemon though? Yeah, kind of. I mean, yeah. You're not wrong, Koneko, if you read the uh, Pokedex entries for, for it. But I have this theory, okay, I have this theory about the Pokedex from what I've been playing of Legends um, Arceus, because in that game, basically, people do not, like, live with Pokemon, right? This is this is the beginning of the plot. This isn't spoilers, by the way, if you haven't played it. This is the very, very beginning of the plot. They, Pokemon are, like, um, straight up, like, wild animals, like, and dangerous. It's as if every wild animal was a wolf or a bear, right? There were no, there are no, like, deer wild animals. 
that are nice <laughs> or dogs or anything. There's just there's just bears and wolves in this world. And you are creating kind of like the first Pokedex, sort of. Um, and your your friend that's also kind of helping with some of that stuff is also a kid as well. So I think the reason why the Pokedex entries are so wild and don't really make a lot of like sense in a lot of ways is because they're written by children. <laughs> so the Pokedex entries, like the numbers that it gathers, like it's gathering those, right? But the written form, the written part of it, um, children wrote it. That's why the claims are insane. It's just freaking Australia, everything tries to kill you. Right, it either is trying to kill you or run away from you. There is no, there's no in between. I mean, that's not true. There are some Pokemon that will just stare at you, but for the most part, they either want to kill you or run away from you. <clears throat> See, Badger's just wrecking. So because I'm not 100% decided on exactly how we're gonna tackle things next, I'm giving myself a level cap of 37 because that's the fighting dojo and that's like the low next lowest like like challenge like level cap thingy i guess you could say baidu for baby they all just sit in vibe true i love i love the badoofs the badoofs are awesome the ones that stare are the ones to watch out for <laughs> that's the ones that'll get you right that's the ones that'll get you Yeah, um, some of the later game Pokemon, because there's so many aggressive Pokemon in the later areas, like, you can't really sit and vibe in most spots, because there's at least something in that area trying to kill you, even if it's not every Pokemon in that area. So yes, that's true, that's true. How far have you gotten Koneko? I know you've been playing relatively slowly, so I'm always curious, week to week, where you are in the game. I am going through the end of the post game right now and trying to fill out my Pokedex and get all of the entries to that level 10 with the Pokeball. That's the quest that I'm on right now, which I think is like the very last main quest. I think I'm not 100% sure. And I also learned sadly that um, you have to have a save game of um, the Diamond or Pearl remakes to get the quest for Darkrai. So if I want to get Darkrai, I'm going to have to spend $60 because I never bought the remakes for Diamond or Pearl. It, you know, it just wasn't, it wasn't my favorite um, region until Arceus came out. This, I really never felt a lot of love for the region. In, in the Legends Arceus format, though, I absolutely love it. So I might have to get that and play it. I don't know. I, I, I hesitate to say like I should spend $60 just to get one Pokemon in particular game I love, but maybe I'll like the Diamond and Pearl remakes. I don't know, most people didn't like them, but maybe I'll be different. I liked Let's Go, um, and a lot of people thought that Let's Go was kind of, you know, pits, but whatever, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was like nice and nostalgic, and I loved seeing the Pokemon like actually around. That's like my favorite part of that one. It's my favorite part of Sword and Shield. You know, I mean, you guys get the idea. Haven't quite gotten to the final ride Pokemon yet, but I'm actively avoiding it because I want to do the side quests. Oh, okay, okay. Um, yeah, you're getting close to the end of the main story then, Koneko. We don't need to kill that Cubone. Yay, rare candy. Okay, here we go. Be gone, intruders. <gasps> what is happening? Oh my gosh, you guys, the ghost appeared. Ghost facers. It's a Marowak. If you like Diamond and Pearl, you'll like the remakes. If not, they're mostly faithful with the Grand Underground being the only interesting new thing. I see. Um, if they're mostly faithful, then I'll probably like it okay, but it's not my favorite region, you know? Like the gens, I, I very much love um, Kanto and Unova. And then from from there, I'm kind of like meh on which regions I prefer and don't prefer. I mean, the underground area in the original Diamond and Pearl was pretty cool, but I don't know. I just didn't fall in love with with it. So I don't know. You love the Grand Underground. So what's what's different about the the underground? Like what what is the Grand Underground? Like give me the the short explanation. I'm nostalgic for Gen Four, but I think Gen Five is the best. Gen Five is awesome. All right, we're gonna have to switch. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, we'll go for Landon. The new grand, new grand underground is way better than the OG. It has wild Pokemon, including wild starters. Wild starters? 
Oh my gosh, okay. Well, I'm interested. Um, I'm interested for sure. M missed? You missed, Landon! What in the heck? You can't miss! There we go. Good job. Whew, okay, we got that ghost, you guys. We got that ghost. Mm, probably not, but let me just make sure of what Sweet Scent does. Yeah, reduce evasiveness, but it also attracts wild Pokemon. Yeah, no. I don't want to do Sweet Scent. Yes, I will stop learning Sweet Scent. What? The restless spirit of Cubone's mother? The mother's spirit was calmed. It departed to the afterlife. Wow. That's amazing. Oh, there's rockets. Okay. Let's switch to... We don't want Badger in front because... She's got pretty low health now. So we'll go over to Taylor. We'll go to Taylor and see how that goes. Wild Starters is pretty interesting. Um, so what do y'all think about the uh, Scarlet and Violet? What are your thoughts? Tell me, tell me. I have a few. I have a few. Oh, Grand Underground also makes Munchlax way easier to get. Oh, that is great. That is great. Is it actually possible to get Spiritomb in solo play now because there's actual NPCs? Oh, good to know. Spiritomb's always a pain in the ass to get. It is a pain in the ass in um, Legends Arceus, too. No, Taylor can stay out. Um, so, Scarlet and Violet. Scarlet and Violet. I am very interested in an Iberian Peninsula-inspired Pokemon region. Um, I hope I really like it. It looks like something I would really like. Um, I'm ready to eat some tapas with my Pokemon. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm ready to have some paellas. Um, you know, I'm, I'm ready for it. I am ready for it. Okay, do we want to do that? Do we want... Uh, okay. Mm, I guess I really don't... I'm not going to use Mud Sport. I'm not gonna use mud support, so there we go. Um, I'm so I'm so torn. I'm so torn between the grass kitty cat and the fire gator guy. I'm, I love fire starters, but this is the first time a new Pokemon game has come out, and I have seen the grass starter and like been like, <gasps> like my heart has just like, oh my gosh! Like I just don't ever look at the grass starters and think that. So. I am very, very interested in potentially this potentially being the first time that I um, I main the grass starter. I don't know, but I'm really excited, and I don't know if I'll feel that way when they release all the designs. You know what I'm saying? The final evolution, what that looks like, is important to my choice, but um, we'll see. We'll see. All I'm thinking about is the new gen. They should have waited till next year, and I hope the kitty starter stays quadruped. I hope the kitty starter stays quadruped too. I mean. I'm not complaining, you know, I mean, um, Incineroar probably needs some competition, but uh, I, if it st stays quadruped, then I'm going for the, the grass cat, right, as my main. Um, but we'll see, you know, we'll see. I don't know. Okay, well, that's fine, Rocket. Um, so, so yeah. The only thing I've seen about the new games is the starters because of memes. Oh, you gotta go watch the trailer. The trailer's actually very, very entertaining. Um, and, uh, I, I really enjoyed it. And, uh, so I think, I think in regards to this game, I kind of agree with the people that are saying should have waited until next year. I get very worried about how much Game Freak is pumping out, um, versus outsourcing to other teams and how much they're probably pushing their own devs. Like, I'm, I'm nervous about the amount of crunch they might be going through there and the, the effect that might have on the games that they're putting out you know i don't i don't want to play a crappy pokemon game you know um and i don't care if they take a while to come out like i'm a busy person i will be patient uh i would rather have a good game so i'm a little bit i'm a little bit nervous about the speed that they're putting things out hang on i gotta go get the water i think Reed's thirsty get thirsty yeah i'll get you the water get you the water just wait just wait i'll get you the water there you go girl this is what you what you want. 
Um, so yeah, I am I am a little bit nervous that they're pushing games out too fast, and um, and I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Oh, and the duck looks like Kingdom Hearts Donald Duck. <gasps> oh my god, Quineco, you're so right. You're so right. It totally looks like Donald Duck. That one I really don't like its design though, but I also, I, you know, I have quite the hatred of, of Donald Duck as most people who have played Kingdom Hearts do. <laughs> uh, not fond memories of him. They have a different team working on this, the new Snap team, if I recall. But yeah, there's not enough time in between Legends and this. Exactly. Like, even if they have that that team working on it, it's like, they still have just way too recently, you know, uh, finished up a game. And I just think, like, I just think, like, it suffers when you don't have time to breathe and think and be creative about the, the choices that you're making. Um, I'll be right back. One second, guys. Sorry, I just had to make sure Ri was okay. She's an old lady. She's an old lady, so she has old lady issues sometimes. There's already been lots of memes in the Kingdom Hearts community. Oh, that's good. I'm glad for them. <laughs> um, but yeah, even if it's like a different team, if it even if it's the new Snap team working on it, I still feel like, you know, new Snap did not come out that long ago, and they're going to have another game out before the end of the year that's supposed to be... A mainline like I just don't I just don't know that feels so fast that feels so fast um so I am a bit nervous of uh, all that all that I don't want to I don't want to hear a year from now that Game Freak is the new you know video game company that's having all kinds of controversy and issues and putting their people through too much crunch and you know people are, are you know really upset and saying awful things about the company like the gaming industry is so fraught with so many problems. I just don't, I I just don't think we need more of that. You know, I don't think we need more of that. All right, you're doing a really good job, Taylor, against these Zubats. Um, but I think I'm gonna switch because you're poisoned. So let's put out, let's put out Liyama. Let's put out Liyama because Liyama's real fast and hopefully um, Liyama will outspeed uh, the Rattata. All right, let's shockwave it. There's already, yeah. I just, I just, I'm just nervous. I'm just nervous. Like the trailer looked really good and really promising. Like it seems like you're gonna be able to see Pokemon in the overworld and all of that stuff, um, which is what I loved about, like what I've loved about the last several Pokemon games. But I just, I'm just nervous. I'm just nervous. I just realized what the fire starter reminds me of. It looks like a baby Yoshi from Mario World. Isn't that what one of, uh, that's what one Kaizo is based on? Yes, it totally does. It totally looks like, um, a different take on, uh, on, like, Yoshi. <laughs> I just, I just hope, I just hope that at least between my two ones that I like, the fire and the grass, that at least one of them will remain animal looking by the end of their evolution line and won't become, like, you know, buff hotties. I mean, more power to you if that's what you're interested in, but like, I mean, the design has to be really good for me to be interested in like that, you know, haughty look for Pokemon personally. I mean, let me do, uh, where's, um, do I not have any? Oh my gosh. I don't have any antidotes. I have so much crap in here. There's my antidotes. I thought I had some. Oh, I didn't. I meant to put that on the ones that are actually poisoned. There we go. And now Lady wants in. I just, I just can't stay seated, can I, you guys? But Lady wants in. Let's let her in. Okay, Lady, I fixed it so that you're not going to turn the stream off this time. Come on. Oh, Lady. There we go. <sighs> All right, is everybody healed up? 
Are we good? We're not poisoned anymore. Okay, fabulous. Just makes me turn nervous in this gen with poisoning. Huh? You came to save me? Thank you. But I came here of my own free will. I came to calm the spirit of Cubone's mother. I think Marowak's spirit has finally left us. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home, Pokemon House, at the front of this tower. Okay. Still got the creepy music. Karen, your Pokedex quest is one that requires strong dedication. Without deep love for Pokemon, your quest may fail. I'm not sure if this will help you, but I'd like you to have it. I got the Pokeflute! Yay! Okay. Sleeping Pokemon will awake. All right. Sweet. I'm scared that the kitty will become Incineroar 2.0 and just not be memorable. Yeah, like what happened with Pyroar. Exactly. Um, the male silhouette looks too similar to Luxray and that makes Pyroar just not memorable. Exactly. Exactly. Because, you know, everyone's just going to think it's like a copycat of Incineroar. They're not going to think of it as like its own unique thing. So I think you're exactly right. And I am nervous of that. And if they do that, I might be, my main might be the fire... Uh, you know, gator, gator guy. But um, I hope that it can be the grass cat, because that would be this would be a first for me. It would be the first time that I really thought that the grass um, Pokemon was the one I was most attracted to out of all of the starters. And I just, I just so I, it's just never happened before, you know. Eight generations of Pokemon, and it's fire or sometimes the water starter for me. You know, like I've told you guys, this playthrough where I chose Bulbasaur is the very first time I think I've even ever chosen a grass starter, period, for a playthrough that I plan to finish, you know? All right, we're going to heal up. Yes. We're back in Celadon at this point. I think my starter will be either Kitty or Donald. I mean, come on, it's Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> you do kind of have to pick Donald. You do, um, for your situation. Oh, look. Look at, look at Lady. Lady, when she's not being destructive, she's just posing so perfectly. Like, look at her, like right over my shoulder. So photogenic, so amazing. My email just notified me Karen Terry's online. Guess I better watch the stream. <laughs> wow, Scrub. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> it's a little late telling you. <laughs> just saying. Okay. Um, I need to make sure that I have what I want. Or these items, not the TMs. It's this guy. It must be this guy. There we go. Okay. I definitely need some great balls. That's the only way I'm gonna potentially catch this Snorlax. So we're gonna buy a bunch of great balls. Yes. I know that's probably overkill, but that's okay. Um, how many potions? I have plenty of potions. Revives are useless for me. I got plenty of antidotes. I got plenty of that. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. Let's blow this popsicle stand. <clears throat> oh, what am I doing? Not paying attention is what I'm doing. There we go. All right, you guys. So what we're going to do next is go down um, Route 16. We're gonna try to catch that Snorlax. Let's see if we can do it. What do y'all think? Do y'all think we, let's go ahead and save. Yes, we're gonna overwrite. I'm just nervous. I mean, if I don't catch it, I don't catch it. I don't know why I'm saving. Like it makes no difference, but whatever. Yes, we're gonna use the Poke Flute. Karen played the Poke Flute. <sighs> okay, Snorlax woke up. Okay. Don't kill my guys, Snorlax. Mm, let's do a rock throw. Snorlax has a lot of defense, so I, I shouldn't I shouldn't just like be in danger of just killing it. So hopefully I won't crit. We're gonna get it down a bit. Oh no, don't yawn, Snorlax. Ruby, you okay? I think she got herself trapped again. Did you get yourself trapped? Yes, you did. Okay, hang on. You're angry. There, there we go. Rearranging the room really confused her, I think. 
<clears throat> she doesn't know what the pathways are anymore, I guess, since I did that. Yeah, it's gonna fail because you because I'm already asleep. Alright. Well, let's see if we can do our great ball. He's at half. So maybe. Let's find out. Nope. I'm gonna have to get it more. Mm. Let's wake up. Where's my awakening? Wake up, Taylor! Oh no! You stupid bitch. Well, at least it used up its chesto berry and it doesn't have another now. My gosh, Taylor! Come on, Taylor, you can do this. Oh, and he's gonna heal up again. I need to, like, hit him for more, but I'm scared. Let's try Magnitude. Maybe I won't kill it. Oh, no, good. That didn't do very much damage either. I may have been rolled pretty high, so... <clears throat> All right, stay asleep like one more turn. Stay asleep like one more turn, Snorlax. Okay, we're back in the yellow. All right, good, good, good. Let's go and use a Pokeball. All right, this time. We did it! We did it, you guys! Okay. Let's see what we're gonna name this. Let's see what we're gonna name the Snorlax. Okay, it was a lady Snorlax. Yes. Okay, let's see what our choices are. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so we've got... Hydration with a T, Soggy, or Lishy. I think we're gonna go with Lishy. I don't really know what Lishy means, but I feel like the other two names are good for water Pokemon. So we're gonna go with Lishy. Someone tell Jane, because that was her submission. Okay, let me make sure I smelled this right. L-I-S-H-Y, yeah. The Snorlaxes should have no problem staying asleep. Well, it didn't. It did a good job. Okay. Lishy! We got Lishy. Okay, let me take that off the list. There we go. Okay, we're down. We have two names still in there. So, um, I think we're good, but if anybody wants to submit names, please go for it. Oh, have I walked up here yet? I don't think so. What's up here? Hi, remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's aides. Pokedex has complete 40 species. Okay. I don't think I have 40 species. Uh, let's just say yes. You've caught only 38. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. Sorry, Nuzlocke means I'm not catching everything. We're going riding together on new bikes. I'm on a relaxing ride on my new bike with my girlfriend. You guys are too young to be having boyfriend-girlfriend. Like, those sprites look like children. Y'all stop it. A sweet person who emits nothing but pure love. Describes an act of, act of sweetness, love, and purity. Oh, I love it! Oh, that's so nice! Okay, let's see. Um, Badger is really high level, so we're gonna put him down. We're gonna give we're gonna give him a little bit of a break, I think. So we're gonna try to level up Taylor and Landon and Liama. Actually, we probably should be focusing on leveling up Liama. I think that'd be good. Or <laughs> Let's see. Yes, I think that makes sense. Okay. Sorry, I was just looking at my notes to see if I, like, put any thought into some of this stuff before. I didn't really, but that's okay. 
They're a playground boyfriend, girlfriend. Kids get playground married all the time. That's true. They must be like playground married. They're going for a bike ride with their playground uh, spouse. <laughs> all right. Um, stupid Grimers. A fucking gin. I just, I hate these things. You, if you minimize and do all that stupid crap, um, we're going to have problems. Okay, we're going to have problems. I guess I am going to bring out Badger because I think Hypno will be able to destroy poison types pretty good. And I guess that's fine because Hypno needs to level up anyway for fighting Koga. So it's fine. Missed. Well, at least Grimer missed too. There we go. Now he's going to die. Bye, Grimer. When you actually married your playground lover interest. Aww! That's so sweet. Uh, no, we're going to keep Badger out. I guess a lot of these bikers probably do all have poison Pokemon, so I guess Badger's going to get some more levels here, which is fine, because um, Koga's pretty high level, so we'll do that. The level cap's 37, so he's got a ways to go. Well, she's got a ways to go. Alright, let's switch that back. Because I think all these guys are going to have poisons. When you never had a playground love interest. <laughs> I actually remember my um, my playground boyfriend from kindergarten. That's only one. I, I assume I had more. I don't really remember that well, but for whatever reason, I do have a specific memory of him, and I'm pretty sure that that was, like, a thing. So, yeah. I wonder what he's up to nowadays. No idea. It was, um, I actually did not go to a real... So, fun fact about Karen. I did not go to a real kindergarten. I didn't go to public school until first grade for my kindergarten because I was born in, in I was a summer baby. They, they figured like probably a full kindergarten would not be good for me. So I went to like this half day kindergarten program that they had at my church. So I technically went to private school for that year of my schooling. And um, it was with a bunch of other kids that were also like summer babies going, doing this half day kindergarten thing. Um, it was fun. It was fun. For some reason, I have I have a couple of memories from there. I have a memory of the, uh, you know, the playground five-year-old kindergarten boyfriend, and I have a memory of a show and tell where I brought a a big stuffed animal of Perdita from 101 Dalmatians that I had, um, and then I have a memory also of uh, coloring in a flower for some reason. I don't know. I don't know why I have like those specific memories. But then like I really don't have any memories of first grade at all. Um, and then I have some memories of second grade. And then I don't have any memories of third grade, really. And then I have some memories of fourth grade. And then pretty much after that, I have at least a few memories of each year. Although sometimes like once it gets past, once it gets to like middle school and high school where you're changing classes a lot, um, at least we were anyway, it gets hard to, to remember which memories go with which age. If that makes sense. But when you're in like kindergarten through fifth grade, you only have one teacher. So I can remember like, oh, well, this memory matches with this teacher. So I must have been this age. Yay, got him too. Hey, you just bumped me. I did it on purpose, bitch, because I'm going to destroy your Pokemon. Yeah. You can avoid all of these guys, but, you know, I want them levels, so we're not avoiding anything. We're getting them all. Oh, only half. Okay. Not nice. Oof. Oof, I don't like how much damage that did. That was too much damage, Weezing, sir. You should not do that, okay? What did I ever do to you? I i mean, all I did was pick a Pokemon battle with you. That's it. Even though I knew I could have avoided it, I chose not to. Hey there, let's have ourselves a good time. All right, sir, all right, all right, all right. Biker Ruben would like to battle. another wheezing. He's a lot lower level though, so maybe he'll die in one hit. 
No, Hulk Weasling's got a lot of defense, I guess. <clears throat> oh no, not something like smokescreen. This is the type of thing that got me so angry. <laughs> he missed. Of course he missed. This is the type of thing that got me so angry at that one muck. He kept using minimize. Ooh. Oof. Oof. Okay, what else I got? What else I got? Oof. Let's bring out Taylor. Taylor's nice and bulky. She can handle it. She can handle all of it. She can take all of Weezing's um, smoke. She can take it all. See? I knew she could. She's good like that. Oh, but she got poisoned. Amazing. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Die to this. Ugh. Okay, hurt yourself in confusion. There we go. Bye, Weezing. Okay, okay. Yay. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, yes. Okay, let's go to... Let's go to Politician. <clears throat> and we'll bite him. We'll bite him. I don't, I don't remember how good Dart goes against poison, but in my heart I feel like it should be good. It's probably not, though. Probably gonna do nothing. Oh, no, it did okay. Oh, and coughing flinched. Fantastic. Well, let's do a stab move. Let's see if that does better. All right. Good job, politician. You're good for something every once in a while. I uh, know we'll water pulse this one, too. We'll water pulse this, this guy, too. Think this she's just sleeping. No running around like crazy, no climbing on the computer. She's just very cute, very cute sleeping. This is what I hope for every stream, but, you know, I don't always get what I want. Especially when it comes to kitty cats. They kind of do their own thing. I was in a meeting yesterday um, with some actual, like, not co-workers, like, it was with a vendor. And she just wouldn't leave me alone, crawling all over me, meowing like crazy. It was so embarrassing. Um, they were really chill about it, but I was embarrassed. Oh, uh, let's see. Actually, I have enough potions. I don't need to run back. We'll just do, we'll just heal the poison and then we'll use some potions. That should be good. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, super potions. Why buy the potions if you're not gonna use them, right? Let's use them. Yep, we'll use another. Not not on Lantern. <laughs> oh, my fingers are too fast. We're using it on Taylor. There we go. Yay. All right. All right. I was about to go back and heal like I was playing Arceus or something. That's what I do in that game. I, I don't like craft potions or anything or buy them. I just go back to camp. <laughs> The only things I craft are the the Pokeballs, like the two top tier ones of the heavy balls and the flying balls. And then um, I will craft uh, Stealth Spray and Sticky Bombs and Star Pieces, of course. That's about it. That's about all I craft. Use a potion to heal from poison, that kind of thing confused baby Koneko a lot. I thought for sure the potion was a misspelling of poison. <gasps> oh, oh, that makes sense, though. Uh, no, I don't need to change Pokemon. Badger can stay. There we go. Badger, 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 ma chop, ma chop. Super effective. There we go. All right, I don't remember what else is on the cycling, what other trainers are on the cycling road, um, but it looks like there is some. There we go, I wanna fight you. There we go. I'm mighty proud of my bod, kiddo, come on. <clears throat> and we're just gonna wait till we get to the bottom here and go into that grass patch because for, for this route and the next route, the only one we can get with our species clause is Doduo. So I'm not super worried about like, you 
going and catching in that grass patch that we're rolling past right now. I craft a ton of Pokeballs and potions, but not really the other items. I don't use the stun items a lot, so I have no use for them. Once you get to sticky balls, um, Koneko, those stun items are really awesome. Um, it'll stun most Pokemon in one hit. For alphas, it takes three or four hits, but uh, those are really, really good. I wouldn't really waste my time with um, the other stunning items. I would just, you know, collect the things for the sticky balls and make those. Okay, Psychic is 9100. So I think, yeah, we're going to replace Confusion. There we go. We got Psychic. Good job. Some creep revives from that trainer. I know! I know, right? I know! <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, no, we're not going to do that. I have the sticky stuff, but I just don't care about a ton of other stun items I use. Oh, okay. That's one thing that's great about Legends Arceus too. There's like so many different ways you can play. Like you can play more stealthy and trying to like sneak up on the Pokemon. You can run up and stun them. You can battle them and catch them during the battle. Like it's just crazy. Like the amount of different ways you can do it. That's one of the things that's so amazing about it. I carry around this huge stack of spoiled paper coins for no reason. <laughs> well, save them so you can turn them into sticky balls because you will want those later, even if you're not using them very much now. In the later game, it's uh, good strats. You head into Fuchsia, that is, that's where I'm going. That's where I'm going, sir. And I'm just here to stomp on you before I get there. Are you ready? Yeah, so I think for the sticky bombs, it's like the balls of mud, spoiled apricorns. There's a third ingredient that I cannot recall at the moment. Um, I can't remember. Maybe it's Bugwarts? But I don't think so. I think Bugwarts is for the, uh, stealth spray. But I can't remember, but I know it's three ingredients, and I know that the balls of mud and the, uh, spoiled apricorns are two ingredients. Uh, no. We're gonna keep Badger. What is Badger's level? 35. Okay, he can get to level 37, and it's not a big deal. So we're still good. Badger's just like OP for this little section of the game right here. He's gonna be OP for Koga's gem, and he's gonna be OP for the fighting dojo. So just good Pokemon for right now. So thanks, thanks for being a, a good mon, Badger. Okay. Are there any items over here or is it just the grass patch? It's just the grass patch, okay. Hey, new friend. There's no getting rich quick and battling kids. <laughs> what? I got money. Okay, I'm flush. Like, I don't know what your situation is, like, but we don't have to talk about it. It's okay. I'm not judging. I'm just saying, like, I'm 10 and I'm flush. So... I don't know. Every time I head into this first area for side quest, my brain goes, this might be a good spot to find some ingredients in Tunnel Duck's voice because, oh yeah, 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 oh my god. Oh my god. This might be a good place to find some ingredients. I, I really wasn't a huge fan of um, of uh, Kingdom Hearts 3, so I don't, I, I can't like hear it in my head well enough to like mimic it for you right now, but I know exactly what you mean. Even with like one playthrough of that game, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> Oh, Donald. Oh, Donald. Okay, I don't think there's trainers down that side. Yeah, I think I have to go in the middle. There we go. We're bikers. We rule the roads, man. Yeah, well, there's only, like, one road in this, in Kanto, and it's, like, right here. And the rest are just, like, wild routes. Oh, no, not a muck. If you, min if you minimize on me, muck, just, are you listening? Hey. No minimizing. I wish there was an great way to turn the ingredients in for luckily, lucky emblem quotes off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or those two quotes are too much. <laughs> okay. Mm. 
come on, I only have one psychic left. Praise. I told him not to minimize, he did it. He made me waste one psychic, but at least, at least we got that. Good job, Badger. Oh, and he's about to reach the level cap. Smoked, that's right. Smoked like sausage. Oh, there's a, okay. Um, do I have... Yes, I do. Oh, I want Badger's Psychic. I've been playing so much Legends Arceus, and like I, the way I do the this side of the thumbstick, I don't know if you can see it. You probably can't see it because the light's too bright. But I have a um, I have a little blister that I didn't even know formed. Did it pop today? <laughs> and I was like, "What is this on my finger?" And I'm like, "Oh, that's the spot where I hit the." The little joystick on my switch so that's what that that's what happened that's what had happened um is there trainer tips oh okay i don't think oh uh, there is a trainer over there we're gonna have to go back let's see can i go fast not up the hill I want to fight all the trainers so I can become the very best that ever was. So we're going to take this slow ascent back up the cycling trail. We're going to fight the trainers that are over on the right hand side. It is very realistic. Come here, biker dude. Let Voltorb electrify you. Okay. Do you have electric types instead of fight? You do instead of fighting and um, poison types. Well, we're still gonna psychic you because I think that should still kill you. Yeah, you are very slow in biking uphill <laughs> on this little road. It's crazy. It's crazy how slow you go. How slow can you go? I don't know. All right, bye, Voltorb. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. Let's do, um, let's get Taylor in there. Because Badger is about to hit the level cap and I'm gonna have to put her away. Go, Voltorb! Rock throw! Voltorb began charging power. There we go. Oh, don't screech at me. Don't screech at me, that's rude. I have sensitive ears, Voltorb. Be, pa be patient with me, be kind. All right. Good job, everybody. I leveled up my Pokemon, but it won't evolve. Why? I don't know, maybe it doesn't evolve by leveling. I mean, you would think that would be common knowledge, but I guess not. Oh. Oh, I know why. I know why he's not evolving. So I actually, I actually have a mod um, that I, I can't remember. I probably told you guys at the very beginning of this run through. I installed a mod so that the traded Pokemon will eventually level up on their own, or will eventually evolve on their own via level ups. I, uh, I modded that into the game um, with little with the randomizer, the randomizer that everybody uses, will also make that change. Oh, I missed one. Come here, sir. Be a rebel. Don't worry, I am. Super rebel. Come on, badger. All right, he is at the level cap, so we're gonna have to use somebody else. I guess we can use Politician. You can come bite him. Chomp chomp. Okay. Ooh, that did not do much, okay. Uh-oh, this doesn't look good. Not Seismic Toss. Oh, that does a lot of damage. Okay. Maybe Water Pulse? Mmm. No likey, no likey. Let's see. Who else can take him on? Why don't, um... 
I keep going back to Taylor because Taylor just has such good defense. Um, but I probably shouldn't have because he's fighting types. So this is probably going to hurt way too much. Oh no, it really didn't hurt that bad. Okay. Taylor, your defense is so good. Thank you for being strong. Being the strong lady on my team. Ugh. Gosh, this is not working. Okay. Uh, maybe Haley can come in and do something. This primate is really annoying me. There we go. Now it's gone. And everybody got a little bit of experience. Uh, no, Haley can stay in. Flamethrower it, girl. Hopefully that does a lot of damage because it's stab. Yes, it does. Okay. Good, good, good. You wasted your turn. You wasted your turn, sir. You could have done some damage, but no. All right. <clears throat> Let's, um... Oh, can I not? There we go. Uh, we gotta get Badger out of the front. And we need to use some heals. Oop, not that. We need some p, -p potions Let's heal up Politician as well. There we go. Alright. That's better. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get these guys up here. Nice bike. How's it handle? Handles pretty good, I think. I'm liking it. I'm liking it so far. It's not a motorbike like yours, but it does good. Okay. Unfortunately, Taylor is going to be very slow in killing these, but she can still do it. Oh, he has levitate. Oh, no. I feel like I did that on a wheezing before and it, it didn't have levitate. It was when it pit. It was fine. But I guess that one has levitate. Or maybe they normally do, and I'm just silly. Oh no, Taylor, don't get poisoned. Just keep throwing rocks at him. Just keep throwing rocks. Do I want to try? Let's try. Let's try roll out. I'm already poisoned, Weezing. There's no point in doing that. It only takes off, like, one point of health. Don't do that! Go back to using the useless smog. I liked that better. Yes, let's switch to something else. Um, I guess we'll go with Liyama. Mm -hmm. We'll shockwave. Gosh, they're both level 29, so I don't know what this is. This probably isn't going to do very much. Yep. Liyama is not very bulky. My god. Alright, um... Come on, politician, let's try with you. Mux, I swear. Mux are, like, my greatest enemy in this game. I'm, like, so over them. I don't want to fight Mux anymore. Jeez, that didn't do a lot of damage either. 
Don't you minimize, Muck. Don't you try to minimize. Oh my god. And he's poisoned. Fabulous. Yeah, and I'm not gonna like. <sighs> Who do I have still? I guess we'll go with Landon since she's poison type. <laughs> oh, that's right. Koneko mucks are super garbage. Okay. Oh, oh, and then it minimizes. Fabulous. That's what I love. Love to see it. Love the minimize. Um, let's get cut. Oh my god, that did like nothing. Oh my god, that does way too much damage for Landon being poison type. But anyway, it's dead now. Whew. I'm so over you, Muck. All right, come here. Let's cure all this poison and cramp. Too much lost health, too much. Grass is weak to poison, the poison damage neutral is not resisted. Yeah, um, but also, um, Landon should uh, not be able to easily get poisoned either, so that's why I thought like, oh, maybe that would be better. But it wasn't. It wasn't that much better. It didn't really matter that Landon's not going to get poisoned. Sludge still does a decent amount of damage. Hey, Kay, welcome in. Welcome in. How's it going? We got um, Lady in the background here. Oreo is not in here with me today, but Lady is. And Rhea is, of course, down here by my feet. It's going. How's your computer doing? Were you, have you been able to get it fixed yet or get a new graphics card or whatever? The audacity of Netflix to remove Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. What? They did? I like that show. It's a good show. I love the main character. The main girl, um, Sky or whatever her name was. Um, there's another one. I knew there was going to be another one up here of Disney. Oh yeah, I bet. I bet Disney wants to put Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. on Disney Plus at some point, so they probably yanked it from Netflix. Shame. Shame. It's a good show. Yeah, Sky. I got um pretty far into it, I think. I, uh, I know that she was like... Oh my gosh. Um, we'll go with Politician. I know that she was like Quake and she had like powers and there was like stuff with... um. That one type of alien, I can't remember. It's been a really long time since I've seen it. So I don't have very strong memories of it anymore. But I remember really, really liking the main character and, um, and overall enjoying the show quite a bit. Drown that manky. Oh my god, stop using seismic toss. It does too much damage. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like that she changed her name to Daisy. Oh, that's right! Because she found out her heritage and, and her birth name was Daisy or something and so she started going by Daisy instead of Sky. I didn't like that either. I thought she should have stayed Sky. Um, I totally agree with you. And I remember that now. Mm. Yep. <laughs> she should have stayed Sky. Go, Landon. Let's see if Landon's got enough, because this is stab. Oh no, almost. One more, and that'll take it out. Yeah, it is silly. Should have kept the name Sky. I didn't like that she changed her name either. I'm on the Quake season of Emo Daisy. Oh, the one where she like put on the black hoodie and the black eye makeup and all the stuff? I remember that. And then I remember there was a season where they brought in like Ghost Rider. Um, to do a thing and uh and he was like a main part of that season <laughs> thank you so much for stopping by scrub and have a very good dungeons and dragons session um have a lot of fun that's the season i'm on yes i very much remember that season mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yep um i remember that season quite <gasps> we killed landon You guys, we killed Landon. I can't believe I murdered Landon! No one tell her. This is our secret. 
This is our secret. It's just between me and you. It's just between me and you. I cannot believe I just killed Landon. Holy shit, you guys. Holy shit. I just killed Landon. Out of all the Pokemon! <sighs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Can someone play the, the uh, sound alert, the rest in peace sound alert for me, please? I can't believe I killed Lantern. <gasps> I'm so mad at myself. How did I let that happen? It wasn't very effective, but he critted. I mean, that's what happened. Crit happens, I guess, as Koneko would say. I can't believe I killed Lantern, you guys. My mind is like really blown right now. I can't believe it. Thank you. Wow. I cannot believe I killed Landon, guys. My god. <sighs> K for- okay, we can name a Pokemon K. No problem. Hopefully I won't kill you. <laughs> I didn't- I haven't killed Moisty. He's- he got relegated to the box at this point, but I didn't kill him. Um, oh my gosh. I just- I can't believe out of all the Pokemon that I killed Landon. <laughs> oh gosh. Bulbasaur isn't even buried at Lavender Town and already trying to name a new Pokemon. Yeah, oh my god. I can't believe I did that. Are there any more trainers on this route? Is this guy gonna fight me or have I already fought him? I've already fought him. Okay. That might be the last trainer. Did I already fight this guy? Yeah. Because I went back up, so that's why I'm like, oh, nope, there's this guy. I have not fought him. I'm very confident I've not fought him. Come here, sir. I can't believe I killed Landon. I can't believe it. Out of all the Pokemon! Out of all the Pokemon! I killed my starter, you guys! <sighs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, whatever. It was bound to happen eventually. I, I went so long since Potato Loaf without killing anybody. So, I mean, I guess... I guess it had to be Landon. Oh no, missed. Oh, stop smoke screening me coughing. There we go. Who do we want to... So I gotta figure out who we want to replace um, that slot with. Who should go there instead of Landon? Good job, Taylor. Mm, nope, we're gonna keep Taylor in. Gosh, he has a lot of Pokemon. He must be the end of this route. What's your team look like? Well, I've got a ton of Pokemon in the box. Um, I have another, like, I have a, a Bellsprout, or I guess it would be a um, whatever the next evolution is by now. But, um, I've got a lot of Pokemon in the box. Oh my god, don't kill Taylor too. I'm like so scared something's gonna crit now. And like, all my Pokemons are gonna be dead. Okay. Yeah, Weepin' Bell. I should have a Weepin' Bell in the box if we wanted to use another similar Pokemon. But I guess between here and now, is there really a good reason to use a Grass Poison type? I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. Um, there might be a better choice. Because I know, like, we're going to need Badger for beating Koga and beating the dojo. Um, the fighting dojo. We're going to need our, um, Jolteon for fighting Sabrina. Because he's going to use the, that bug move that he gets for that fight. Um, then next we've got the fire gym after that, so Politician will be good there. And then... 
We've got the last gym, which is like rock types, right? Or like, I guess, no, more like ground types. So I don't know who I'd want to use there. I don't know, I'll have to think about it. I'll have to think about it. We'll go look at the boxes um, when we get to the next town. And y'all can give me your opinions too. Nope, stay politician. Could go back for a haunter if you wanted. I do have a ghastly. I do have a ghastly um, that I did get to level 28, so it's a haunter now. So I do have one. What are ghost types good against? So he would be like ghost and poison. I'm googling what ghost types are good against psychic. Oh. Um. Yeah, but I don't really need something because I've got. I'll have the. Do I really need something good against psychic? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, because there's not any, like... Because the ghost types in this game are all ghost poison. They're not just ghost. Well, we'll just... We'll go look at what I have. We'll go look at what I have in just a minute. Yay, I defeated Biker William. That took forever. Um... Let's heal up. Gosh, looking at that faint in Landon, just like... I can't believe it. Did anybody clip that? My reaction to ki killing Landon? I'm gonna have to go clip that. Uh, let's see. There's my antidotes. I'm glad I had lots of antidotes before going on this route, because everything like freaking poisons. Alright. Gosh, this route is so long. Oh, we're finally off of it. Okay. Can I bypass the next? I think, yeah. So there's a trainer in there, but I'm gonna bypass him. I don't have to go in there. Come on, go up the thing. I'm looking for the Pokemon Slowbro. Wanna trade for my Lickitung? Nah. No thanks, my bro. No thanks. Unnecessary. Dragonite, I do not have a Dratini. I wish. Um, I don't know that that will work out. <laughs> okay, let's, um, okay, we're in the next town. Where is the freaking, oh, nope, I don't want to go into Route 15. I just want to, I wanted to find the Pokemon, but I guess I must have to go this way. Oh my god, pay attention, Karen. Depends on if you want to farm coins while offline <laughs> or catch it in the safari. So I don't know, I don't think I would be able to with Nuzlocke rules. If you're working on the Pokedex, visit the Safari Zone. All sorts of rare Pokemon breed there. Lunar, hey! You can't become a good trainer with just one strong Pokemon, but raising many Pokemon evenly is no easy task either. Oh my gosh, you have the gift icon for so many gift subs that you gave last stream. Thank you so much. There's a narrow trail west of Viridian City. It goes to the Pokemon League HQ. The HQ governs all trainers. Okay. All right, guys. The second, the second death. I can't believe it's Landon, but it is. All right. Bye, Landon. See you later. All right. So we have, we have a uh, Weeping Bell. We have def. I don't. Sand Slash moves. Pool sucks. We have Champ the Fero, although if we're going to go for a bird Pokemon, I'm going to say Pidgeotto. Oh, uh, thank you so much for the Howl Lunar. Thank you, thank you. We have a Persian. We have a Doug Trio. We have our Raticate, um, which we've used quite a lot. We have Armachoke, Beedrill, um, Lord Oreo. We have a Haunter. We have a Butterfree. And we have Snorlax. So those are our choices. I don't know. We could go for Weepin' Bell. Let's see. What moves does Weepin' Bell have? Right now he has Vine Whip. 
growth acid and stunts for. <laughs> Just looking at all of their moves. Mm -mm. Maybe we should have our fighting type. Because fighting would be good against like rock and ice. Which we're going to have some ice Pokemon in the Elite Four that we have to take care of. We're going with Holly. I might change my mind, but for right now, we're going with Holly. <sighs> no. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to go back in. No. Okay. So Holly definitely needs some level ups. Good night, Koneko. Good night. See you later. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yes, go ahead and heal everybody. All right, let's go around and do our talking to everyone in Fuchsia City since we made it here. And then we'll go catch ourselves a do duo. Uh, oh yes, I'm the move deleter. I can make Pokemon forget their moves. Would you like me to do that? No, but there's the move deleter if you want to do that. Bill files his own Pokemon data on his PC. Did he show you? Hmm, you've met Bill? He's my grandson. He always liked collecting things, even as a child. So this is where Bill is from. The Safari Zone's warden is old, but he's still very much active. All of his teeth are false, though. <laughs> Someday I'll have perfect teeth when I get dentures. And I'm like old and they start falling out. Okay, so there's the gym. That's, the, that's Koga's gym. We're not really ready for that quite yet. That's in my mind what he's saying. Pokemon photos and fossils are on display. Old Pokemon merchandise is on display. Wow. Poison Gym's a bitch. Yes, the Poison Gym is a bitch and a half. I am the fishing guru's older brother. I simply love fishing. I can't bear to go without. Tell me, do you like to fish? Of course I do. Grand, I like your style. I think we can be friends. Take this and fish, young friend. I got the good rod. Not me running to a Pokemon center after every fight. <laughs> True. Uh, a crummy old rod could only catch Magikarp. Yes, but with a good rod, you can catch much better Pokemon. Well, thanks. And you can actually come out here and, um, and fish. And we're going to do that right now. So here's what we're going to do. Well, let's do this, let's do this. So you guys know my favorite way to catch Pokemon is with our good friend Butterfree. So we're actually gonna do some swip swapping. Some swip swapping. Uh, we're gonna access Bill's PC. And we wanna take out our Butterfree. Oh, no, we don't want to move boxes. We want to put them in the party. And then you can go down here. And then we're going to get Moisty out. So we're going to do some fun flying. Alright, so we're going to put Pinky in front. Oop, not summary. I meant to move you. And we're going to put Moisty right here. Everything okay, Riri? She's being like really restless. I don't know what's going on. Been playing through Pokemon Black on my phone. Just got a Dano. Oh, good job, Kay. Good job. Good job. Yeah, I, um, I had a thing that played a bunch of different Pokemon games on my phone at one point, but then an update broke it. So I didn't get to continue doing that. It was very sad. Okay, where, where are my Pokeballs at? How many do I have? Oh, I have 12 Great Balls. I'm good. Yep, exactly. I was sad, and it, it lost my game save file from that, and so I was like, whatever. And I never tried to do that sort of thing again. 
<laughs> after that, I was done. Okay, so we're gonna go and... Oh no, it's gonna be in... No, it's in key items. Okay, we want to register the good rod. And we're gonna do some fishing. Not even a nibble. Let's try again. I can't play past Gen 5, unfortunately. Oh. Oh my gosh. I know there's Pokemon in here. There we go. There we go. A Poliwag. Go, Pinky. And what we're gonna do is put it to sleep. Poliwags are super cute. And then we're gonna use our Pokeball. Ooh. Keep pushing the wrong button. There we go. Poliwag was caught. Yes. Okay. You said you wanted it to be the next Pokemon, K. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna name this one K. I thought we'd catch a Doduo next, but that's not what happened. We're gonna go catch a Doduo in a second, though. Okay. Now let's go back to that previous route and go get a Doduo. Oh, good. I'm glad you're happy. I don't really go in order with the name suggestions. I know that's what, like, Tap was doing on his stream, but I kind of just go based on where I'm inspired. Oh, I don't want to... I don't want to trigger these battles. Do they spin? Okay, I think I need to go get... I need to go get the uh, these other Pokemon that I put in the box. And we're going to do those battles. I had forgotten we skipped those trainers. So we need to do that. Doduo is one of the derpiest Gen 1 Pokemon. <laughs> I think they're kind of charming. They're not too bad. Um, can't deal. <laughs> they're charming. I don't mind them. Okay, let's put you guys away for the moment. Okay, we're gonna fight those two, and then we'll catch the Doe Duo. <gasps> oh my gosh! Thank you so much, Lunar! I really, really appreciate that! Wow! 5,000 bits! Oh my gosh, thank you, thank you so much. Oh my, oh my God, you have just made my day. Like I cannot, I cannot even, I cannot even. I cannot even right now. <laughs> and here I was thinking like, oh, this stream was kind of crap because I killed Landon and I was feeling so bad about it. But then like you come in here and do all that and it's like, oh, never mind. The stream's awesome by the way, actually, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay that we killed Landon. It's okay. <laughs> I'm cool with it. <laughs> She'll be okay. <sighs> uh, she'll forgive me, hopefully. Landon died because, like, we were fighting um, a Machop and... Um, no, I'm a champ. And the thing, the move it used was not that effective, so I thought, like, Landon would be safe, but it critted. It critted and just like, and she was at half health and it just like, bloop, all the way down. Um, she got deaded. <sighs> I just can, I can't believe, I can't believe it. I usually use my starter like all the way to the end, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I was just like, I was devastated. I was devastated. Yeah, it was super sad. It was super sad. Yeah, 
I was like, I was really sad. I couldn't believe it. <clears throat> no, Kay, you can't have her. She's mine. I found Luna fair and square. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, of course. Someday I still have a dream, Kay, that you'll um, start streaming and I'll be able to watch Kay streams. I mean, because you hang out with all the streamers, and I know you run the ARC server that a lot of people, like, will stream their ARC stuff from. So, like, in my mind, like, you should stream, you know? I know you don't, but, like, in my mind, you should. <laughs> like, it would match. I know, I know, but you did for so long, so it's like, you know. I know, I know. But you did for so long. You did for so long, Kay. Not forever. You could spin up an ARC server again at some some point. I know not right now, but at some point. You'll get a new PC someday, Kay. It's not forever. It's not forever. It's not right now. I believe. I believe. I'm glad we met too, Lunar, because I think you're pretty damn cool. And I'm endlessly amused by your spider character in uh, Don't Starve Together as like a recent thing. <laughs> I'm teaching my cat how to sit out of boredom. Oh my God. Think of all the things I would do if I had no computer. I don't want to think about it. They'd probably be really productive and like, I'm sad that I wouldn't, that I don't do those things now. <laughs> okay. Um, it's going to pop up. It's the Doduo is going to pop up if I try to go for that guy. Yeah, he's super cute. Okay, there we go. Now, when you spin around. Come on, spin to me. Spin to me. Spin to me. I had to walk in the grass to get his attention, I guess. Teach your cat synchronized dancing. Oh my god. Okay, first of all, that would never happen. Oreo? Too stupid. Ash? Um, too ornery. She would not be interested. Queen? She only cares about things if she's gonna get lots of pets. And I just don't think she would do anything for very long. Like, she could do sh very short tricks, but not long ones. Lady actually has probably the most potential for learning some kind of like dance routine because she's actually incredibly athletic and has way too much energy. So if I was going to teach any of them like dance moves, it would have to be Lady. But um, but she's not a very good listener, I have to say. Now she's really young, so maybe she'll become one. But right now she's she's not a very good listener. So I just don't I just don't foresee it. Poor Oreo. <laughs> I love Oreo, but it's true, okay? It's true, you know? Not everyone... Everyone can't be good at everything, okay? And just intelligence is not something that Oreo is good at. And, you know, that's just, that's just how that is. <laughs> he's got other great qualities. Um, he's very cute. Um, he's very good at making biscuits. That's his special talent. He's a great door guard. He loves to lay in the threshold of doors and guard them for you. Um, what are his other special talents? He is massive. Big size. If that is a talent, he has it. Alright, we're gonna teach fly to Moisty so we can fly around. His face. He has a very cute face. I agree. Okay, so we're gonna do Whirlwind. Oof, Moisty forgot Whirlwind, and Moisty learned to fly. Fly like a Pidgey to the sea. Fly like a Pidgey. His face is super inquisitive and just adorable. It really is. When you see it in real life and you see the way he acts, instead of it looking inquisitive like it does in photos, it just looks like he's giving you this blank stare, like you just asked the dumbest kid in the class the, a math question or something. Um, that's what he looks like in real life. <gasps> the safari zone has a zoo in front of the entrance. Out back in the safari 
is the Safari game for catching Pokemon. Lights on nobody's home, exactly. Eric, where's Sarah? I said I'd meet her here. Oh boy, she stood you up, my friend. There's Slowpoke. We got a little zoo. Chansey. That item ball in there. Were you wanting that? Me too. Huh, that's a Pokemon? That's a Pokemon, sir. <laughs> yeah, he's very lights on nobody's home. Oh, there's the Pokemart. I guess let's go talk to everybody in there. Don't they have any pennants promoting the Safari Zone? How about some paper lanterns? Are there any calendars? You want Safari Zone merch? Is that what's going on? Did you try X Speed? It speeds up Pokemon in battle. I know. Okay, am I good on Pokeballs? Let's see. But we can get Ultra Balls now. Ooh, how many Great Balls do I have? I have 12. Well, why don't we get some Ultra Balls? Oh yeah, we're Ultra. Uh, yes. Oh, enjoy your ice cream, Kay. Enjoy your ice cream, and thank you so much for lurking. We love our lurkers here. All right, let's go. We're not going to worry about exploring the zoo right now. Let's go get our do duo. Did I put Butterfree in front? I think I put Pinky in front. Yes, I did. Pinky in the front, Moisty in the back. Sounds dirty somehow. Don't know what's up with that. All right, come here, Doduo. Come here, Doduo. Thank you for showing up. I love that about you. It's always nice when they show up. Doduo fell asleep. Um, okay. Let's do a Great Ball. I don't think we need an Ultra Ball for him. I think if he's sleeping, a Great Ball will do. Ah, oh, I was wrong! Oh, and he woke up really fast. Try attack Oh my god, don't kill Pinky. Oof! 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 That's not good! Go back to sleep, Doduo! Go back to sleep! I might just have to throw an Ultra Ball because wowie, wow, wow. We are not going to do another try attack. Uh, that's not a thing that we can have happen. Okay. Do duo! Yes, we do want to name it. Okay, we have in there either Soggy or Hydration. I feel like um, Jane would probably like this Pokemon. It has no tail and it's kind of silly looking. So we're going to name it Soggy. And anybody that's still paying attention, y'all should send in a few more names because we're about to run out. We only have one more name in the queue. And I've got a couple more Pokemon I'm going to try to catch before 8.30. We're going to go around and... Um, get a few Pokemon with the, um, with the good rod. Okay, so let's go do that. We're gonna next fly over to Viridian City. And you can get Poliwag and Goldeen here. We already got, um, Poliwag, so we're gonna get a Goldeen. Amara, okay, Amara, I love that name. Is that another, um, is that inspired from like, uh, from something as well? Cause I know like your Haley is, uh, is kind of like inspired from Haley, uh, with Vampire Diaries and the originals. Okay, he's only level 14. Oh, wait. This is a Poliwag. I need a Goldeen. Ah, oh, Species Claws, Karen. You have Species Claws. Stop it. There we go. Come to me, Goldeen. Come to me. Oh my gosh, more Poliwags. 
more polywags. Oh, there we go. Come to me, Goldeen. The Pokemon's on the hook. Another freaking polywag. So I'm going to try to catch a Goldeen here, and then we're going to go get a Krabby and a Horsey. Past favorite roleplay character. She's kind of rude herself. I created her in two hours. Her avatar is Selena Gomez. She is hella timid and hella hyper. <laughs> Oh, I love that. Selena Gomez, that's like old school face claims. I used to see Selena Gomez face claims um, quite often when I was in my Tumblr RP heyday. I swear I thought you could get Goldeen here. Can you not? Is that just like, can you just not get Goldeen here? Am I just mistaken? I could have sworn. Am I just that unlucky right now? Could have sworn we got, got we could get Goldine. There we go. Yeah, she was the only one that fit. Her pack loves her. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so let's put Goldine to sleep. And we should be able to use a Pokeball because it's pretty low level. There we go. Okay, we are still good. Hopefully the next ones won't take forever to freaking catch. <laughs> yes, we want to give Goldine a nickname. So let's use Amara. Let's use Amara. Amara, did I spell that right? Yes, okay. There we go. All right, and next we are gonna fly to Cerulean City. Let's sell it up here, there we go. Cerulean. Is that, would you say Jame or Jame? How would you, how do you pronounce that, Lunar? Okay, I thought there was... I had put in my notes that you can get... Um, Krabby or Horsey here, but now that I'm here, I'm not seeing a body of water that you can actually do that. So did I make that up? Did I just make that up and I'm wrong? Or is it like this water here is technically, but you can't really get to it? It must be that this water is technically, oh, James, okay. It must be that this water is technically Celadon, but you can't get to it. Or sorry, Cerulean, not Celadon. Yeah, because now you're in Route 4. Yeah, I don't think... Okay, this must not be possible. All right, my notes are wrong. So let's go then to... Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the follow, um, DJ Rim. How's it going? All right, let's go to Vermilion then. Um... Oh no, Vermilion's down here. There we go. <clears throat> I know there's water here. Oh yeah, lots of water here. <sighs> All right. Come on. Not even a nibble.
Oh my gosh, come on, fish up something. There we go. All right, a crabby. Mm, sleep powder. I'm just seeing if there's another opportunity for horsey that we could take advantage of. Uh, yes. Okay, now we're going to use the hydration one. The hydration name that's been sitting in there. Thank you so much for the applause, DJ Rem. And then he spelled it E-O-N. E-O-N. Hydration. <laughs> All right. That was one of Tap's names. Okay. I know you can catch Horsey with the good rod. So... I'm just looking to see... If there's a good if there's another a place that we can go mm -mm -mm. yeah but it's later roots okay so as far as backtracking and catching stuff this is all that we've got so we will try to catch a horsey but it's gonna be later it's gonna be later all right guys let's go and fly back to Fuchsia City. What is this Nuzlocke Ghost Facer? Oh, I named it Ghost Facers for the stream because we started, the start of the stream we were doing the um, Lavender Town like tower area. So um, I was like Ghost Facers, you know, from Supernatural. So it was just a reference to that because of where we were starting. Okay, so what we've got left to do in Fuchsia City is we have got the um, random map Nuzlocke. That's it. No, it's not a... No, we're just doing a regular Nuzlocke. I've never done one before, so we're just doing a regular Nuzlocke. Nothing too fancy. All right, so when we come back to this Nuzlocke, we are going to do the Safari Zone. And then probably what we're going to do is go to Saffron City and take on the Fighting Dojo. And then do the do sylph code. But I think the only other thing we're going to do in Saffron is um, is the Safari Zone, and we're going to save Koga for later. When I just think about like the level that Koga's at, I just think it makes way more sense to go do the Fighting Dojo and Sylph Co, and then tackle um, Koga and Sabrina's gyms because they're both such high level. You know, make me want to stream this too, but I got to finish FNAF. <laughs> Well, you could, you could do this after FNAF. You could do a Pokemon Nuzlocke after FNAF. Whatever your favorite gen is, that's what you should do, I feel. Um, this has definitely been beneficial for me to do a game, do the, the Pokemon game that I'm most familiar with. Um, it's made it much less stressful, even though it's definitely more stressful than a regular Pokemon playthrough. I'm probably going to also level up some of these guys off stream a bit. Definitely Holly needs some levels to catch up. Liama needs some levels, so I'm going to do some of that so they're a little bit more caught up before we go to um, to do the Fighting Dojo in Saffron City. So we're definitely going to get to that next stream, and we're definitely going to get at least started on Sylphco next stream. Alright, so let me save. I like to make a file, because I get really scared about corruption and always having backups at the end of every episode. Okay, so there we go. One that was e has Eevee and Growlithe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, um, Fire Red, which would be the other counterpart to this one, definitely has Eevee and Growlithe. 
Okay, let's switch back to webcam only. Uh, I'm gonna let the game do a regular save. Yes. Yes, okay, we're gonna find somebody to rage, you guys. Mm -mm -mm. That's the one you would play? I understand. <laughs> All right, let's see, who do we want to raid? Um, I'm looking, at, I've got a lot of friends online, so let me just ponder this for a second. Well, so while I'm pondering, um, <clears throat> while I am pondering, uh, so next week on Artistic License, we will be doing more of this Nuzlocke. So um, come back next Thursday, 6.30. Uh, thank you so much for the Howl Lunar. Um, from 6.30 to 8.30, we'll be doing more Nuzlocke. And um, then what we will be doing on our next interstage window, so our Saturday stream, is we're going to be talking about the next Harry Potter book as we've been kind of going through that series. So we're on the fifth book, we're on Order of the Phoenix, and there's so much to talk about in that book that we're not just having a regular episode and then kind of a spin-off fandom fun episode. We're doing a full two parts and a spin-off fandom episode. So you get to see the first part coming up on Saturday. So be there for that. As far as like how to support me, where to find me, all of that good stuff, I do the things the same way as every other creator. I'm mostly active on Twitter. I have a Discord server, which is focused on um, text-based roleplay help since that's how I got started. And then I have a card if you want to just find anything and everything of where I am. Um, also in regards to, um, supporting me, the way you can do that is right here through Twitch, through a, a Twitch subscription. I also have donations and all that stuff. It's all, it's all down in the about, um, the same way that every other content creator does it. I want y'all to talk about the originals after Harry Potter, of course. Oh, Lunar. We'd have to talk about Vampire Diaries first. And, there, and there's the original spinoff, and then there's Legacy spinoff. So I don't know. That's a lot. That's a that's a big bite there. But uh, Vampire Diaries is, uh, is foundational to Landon and I's friendship. So... It might, it might happen at some point. It might happen at some point. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's foundational in a lot of the same ways that Harry Potter is to our friendship. All right. All right, you guys. We are going to raid into Miss Nyx because it's been a few weeks since we have raided her and she is online playing Smite right now. So there we go. That is counting down. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today on my stream. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.